Hello, and welcome back to another fabulous McDell's Experimental Kitchen. I'm Chef Booth McGowan, and I'm Chef Isaac Dell. And today, we'll be making a little seafood extravaganza, because in win winter here in Minnesota, I often crave that very summery, fresh taste of seafood. Don't yes. you, Chef Booth? Yes, the salty, succulent. Yes, quite delicious. So we'll be making some uh, clams and lobster tails. Come over here and we'll be uh, scrubbing the clams. But first, Chef Isaac, there's something that's very important for chefs to do before they start cooking. Wash your hands. <laughs> So these clams have been soaking for 20 minutes, which is customary for clams, but after, when, as they soak, uh, sand and salt seeps out of the crack and sinks to the bottom of the bowl. But, so we want to make sure that we get anything that could be bad off the clam. So now we're going to strain the water out of here and all the silt and stuff is going to go through here. And all we're going to be left with is our delicious, our delicious clams. Our delicious clams. And then that water we'll save for after the show and we'll make a, a clam cocktail. Yes. So other than our seafood, we'll be making a delicious garlic butter sauce. Of course, McDell Productions is famous for its garlic butter. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was good. So we'll be using olive oil, uh, two garlics, butter, of course, and salt. So, Chef Booth, why don't you get the, uh, the oven and the stove set up while I'll start mincing the garlic. Alright, Chef Isaac. Ready? Finishing preparing the clams, I am going to begin the lobster tail. So, to make this lobster tail, all we're going to do is fill this pot up with water, just a decent amount until about right here, and then add about two tablespoons of salt. It doesn't have to be exact, just shake it in there, don't add too much, don't add too little. You want your lobster tail to be very salty, but not too salty. You want it just to taste really good. So. I'm going to take this uh, pot and fill it with water. That's the first step. So there's our pot full of good old water. Now we're going to take it over here and just uh, So now I'm going to add the salt, just shake it in there, it's a good amount. So we're going to start uh, adding the oil to the pan for our clams. You're going to want to turn your uh, stove up to uh, a high heat and add, oh, about two tablespoons of olive oil. Gonna saute for a bit. Mm. Let's turn the heat down just a little bit here. And you're gonna want to saute it until it's a tannish color, but you—it's really important that you don't want to burn your uh, garlic. Now 
you're going to bring it down to a simmer, and we're going to add in the white wine. And of course, all the alcohol will, will burn down. But it'll add some nice flavor. So, before you uh, add your clams in, make sure that the wine has burnt down to half of what you added in originally. So now our water for our lobster is boiling, our salt water that we made to uh, simulate the lobster's natural environment because we want to be very nice to this guy. We want him to feel like he's at home. So we're going to just plop it right in the water and just let him cook there for a while. And as you can see, he's already turning red it's because we're burning him. So, this is a lobster tail of four ounces, so it's going to cook very fast, probably only a couple minutes or so. Mm, yum. You can just see how quickly that turned. In the last clip, it went from brown to red in a matter of seconds. It's, it's, just, it's interesting how that happens so quickly, so you, always, you don't want to put it in there and walk away and make a phone call or something. You want to be constantly watching it so you don't overcook your lobster. Of course. You want it to be succulent, not dry and overcooked. Yes. You don't want your tough lobster meat. That's yes, that, sure. uh, yes. So our wine and oil and garlic has reduced, and it's simmering right now, so we're going to add in our clams. You want to make sure to set the clams in gently so that boiling oil doesn't burn yes. us. As, as we know, and it's not fun. After we put these in, uh, we're gonna be checking them every so often to make sure that it, when they start to when the, when they start to come open, we're gonna add in some of the butter, and that'll just make the sauce much more delicious. Yes, it will. So and we're gonna cover it with a lid, and check back with it in a couple minutes. Uh, the lobster is done after about four minutes. So I'm gonna take it out and put it right on this plate just let it cool there for a little bit just like cookies so I don't know if you can see but this clam right here is starting to open up a tiny bit I think we'll let it go a little longer and then we'll start to add our butter in and the butter will just make it so good Yes. So we can see one of the little ones is open. I'm just going to add a stalk of rosemary for a little bit of flavor. And I think we're going to start adding our butter. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Crumbs are cooking very nicely, as you can see. Uh, they're sauteing right there. They're sitting there. You want this plasticky, uh, uh, it, it almost looks like pork. And that's what, that's what we're aiming for. Like this one, if you can see, is starting to open. So, I think we can add our butter. So, right here, I have about a tablespoon and a half or so, a quarter of butter. I think we'll add this in now. I don't know. Deliciousness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna be making some toast to go along with our delicious uh, meal of clam and lobster tail. So uh, this toast is just gonna. We're gonna just put some of the garlic sauce on it, and it'll pair perfectly. It'll cleanse our palate when we're in need of some cleansing. Yes.
so as you can see it's cooking very nicely. In case you're wondering how to make toast, you turn on the toaster and put two pieces of bread in the slots on the top. As we've learned, clams can be very hot, so be careful when handling them. As we said, winter time in Minnesota can get very long, so it's every once in a while it's nice to spice it up with a little bit of, a little bit of a, a little taste of summer. the ocean, a little taste of summer. So yeah, we're gonna eat this up. We're gonna dig in. We're gonna tell you what it's like, how we did it, if we did it well. So first, this lobster, you gotta cut it down the middle and then crack it open kind of and then just we got this butter we're just gonna pour the butter on top mm. well this is delicious but it isn't a sauce mm. mm. wow this is delicious this lobster is cooked to perfection mm. it tastes like I'm sitting in Maine I have to say, the bread with the um, olive oil garlic sauce, the taste of the uh, little neck clam and the larger full size clam are quite different. No, it's yeah, they're all delicious. Mmm, mmm, that is good. Well, Thank you for joining us for another McDonald's Experimental Kitchen. It worked out this time, everyone. Hopefully next time it will, too. Thank you. And good night.